BP will be investing in excess of 5 billion rand in South Africa and Mozambique over the next five years, commencing in 2013, which will be in new plant and infrastructure upgrades. Nearly 800 million rand will be invested in Mozambique, and the rest, obviously 4.7 billion rand, in South Africa. This investment is designed to improve safety, customer experience, operational efficiency, help the government to improve energy security, and enable the transition towards cleaner fuels. In June 2012, the Department of Energy promulgated the amendment regulation regarding petroleum product specifications and standards to effect the changes in fuel specifications. The regulations will, however, become effective, as you have already heard, from the 1st of July 2017 in order to allow oil companies to make the necessary changes in their refineries. Between the Department of Energy and the National um, Treasury, we are now working on modalities and also on the best way to make sure that we, imp we implement this cost recovery mechanism. The announcement by BP has actually put a lot of pressure on us to finalize the cost recovery mechanism. So we expect at least uh, before the end of September, we should have finalized the cost recovery mechanism. The Clean Fuels 2 spec takes sulfur spec generally from 500 parts per million to 10, and in part of the diesel pool from 50 to 10. And it also reduces, as the Director General said, um, the concentrations of benzene, for example, from 5% to 1%, and reduces a number of the other uh, specifications while improving the quality of diesel production so that the um, particulate matter that comes out in vehicles when you burn diesel is reduced. So that, obviously that's the driver of the Clean Fuels 2 program, and it's in line with Euro 5 specifications. So what is this investment in, in SAPREF? Well, it's significantly about increasing the amount of hydrogen production that we have on the site. The hydrogen reacts with the sulfur in the fuel to take out the sulfur. And so that's the first thing we've got to do. And we apply the hydrogen to com critical components of gasoline and diesel so that the pool of fuel that's produced at the end is lower in sulfur. Now, to reduce some of the other things, you need to change the processing of some of the other parts of the process. But principally, the big investment is in hydrogen treating capacity. It'll have a minor effect on volume, and in fact, we think the investment, although it might marginally affect the nameplate capacity, it'll actually increase the operability and utilization of the refinery so we believe the refinery will able to ultimately produce more product not much more but at the margin a small amount more so the volumetric effect is a very small. We've just completed uh, the 20-year liquid fuels master plan. You'll recall that we actually had uh, planned to complete it last year, but the minister requested us to do the refinery audit so that we can be able to get a sense how much can uh, South Africa provide for itself, but also what will be the impact in the import facility for various scenarios. So that has been completed. We should be getting it to cabinet before June. So at this point in time, we are looking at various options, both from importing and uh, also brownfields and also for uh, Greenfields. In fact, our, uh, the announcement again by BP has actually assisted us because now there is some certainty around some of the brownfield projects because we're not sure whether there will be any investment in this regard. So this has provided certainty in terms of our planning uh, so that we'll be able to make sure that going into the future we actually have got plans that talk to uh, what this industry is doing.